What's up, YouTubers? Okay. This is a uh, e glide 800 watt AT skateboard. It's got a. Uh, I'm running this on 42 volts. It's a uh, standard running hardware. Except they're running the bigger tires, you can see on here. This is a Dewey Weber deck. One of the old ones, so it's not an e-glide deck, but you know, this is what I like to ride. So you can see on there, we got a speedometer on here. We're telling our speed. Uh so the battery pack is pretty much why we're we're looking at this, right? This is a uh 1.2 kilowatt battery pack made up of 18650s. This is all Lexan. There's 150 batteries in here. Uh, it's got its own built-in battery management system. It's got its own data for me for monitoring. I'm still at 28 amp hours. I drove five, six miles, I don't know. But uh, 10 miles, I don't know. The board will probably go 45 to 50 miles on this battery pack on flat grounds. 30 to 40 hilly it's uh comes out to about 32 33 amp hours now of course you're going to say what are the batteries well there's two different approaches that you could take one spending six five six dollars a piece on 35 amp batteries but uh you really don't need that if you're going to run if you're going to run a lot of them in parallel or series whatever but uh as you can see this is this would be one bank this is a 10 10 cell bank that runs across I'll take the battery pack off so there's 15 batteries per bank 10 across 150 batteries now if we were to use one battery in here you know we would need if you looked at this board and you did the specs it would be 800 watts at 36 volts which would probably be about 30 amps somewhere around there, but that's not how it works in the real world. Uh, these boards will draw, you know, an 800 watt motor like this on this board will draw intermittently about 65 amps. It'll, uh, the motor will pull about, I forget what it was, I have it written down somewhere, but I think it'll do 2000, you know, I've spec'd it out and seen it do 2K, 2000 watts at full you know, 1800 watts, 2000 watts at peaks. So you have to have, be able to rate these. You know, before you're gonna build yourself a battery pack, you gotta think to yourself what your current draw is gonna be on the motor. You know, your speed controllers and that. The motors in this, as you can see, these are a, uh, a 36 volt, 800 watt engine. The, uh, the speed controllers are floor scrubber speed controllers made by made for e-glide by a company called iDrive Technologies and uh, these are wired you know I wouldn't ride anything but a wired controller because I ride this board at 20 20 25 miles an hour and uh, I can't worry about having the uh, electronics shit to bed or the remote control shit in the bed which I've had happen so I'm not just speaking I'm speaking from experience the uh, I've got on this board that you see here, and there's the controller that hooks in. Easily three to four thousand miles, and I'm probably being light with that when I say that. You know, uh, the standard e-glide packs come with three uh, 12 volt, 12 amp hour, I think they are, rechargeable batteries. It'd be lead acid battery. So you'd have a pack like this would be 12 amp hours at 36 volt. And you could go 15, 20 miles on one. I don't know. I've never had, you know, I've been running lithium batteries in this, whether it be uh, life batteries. Next thing you're probably going to ask is how heavy is this battery pack? Well, battery pack is still lighter than it would have been if it was three lead acid batteries. And uh, like I said, it's 32 amp hours. So it's the equivalent of probably having, you know, nine of those in here or whatever, as far as runtime and weight goes. Uh, 
pack is custom built by me. The board will go, like I said, I haven't been able to ride it that long. I, I've done 35, 40 miles on the board. And uh, I think it comes out to, what are we paying for electric now? Even though, as we could say, I kind of do it from the sun, but it, uh, if we were to use a kilowatt hour and uh, 11 cents, 22 cents, fuck those. We just say a buck to go 60 miles, 50 miles, pretty damn cheap. Hell of a lot of fun. But back to this battery pack here. We're not running high amperage batteries because we have so many series. So instead of having a $5 battery, you know, you may be able to wanting to look into a ISO 9000 compliant company and being, I haven't found anywhere but China and Japan and that, and nobody sells them in America. And if you do, I wouldn't mind an email on that, but uh, you know, this is what we're left with. So it's, this uses a BAC battery. The stock number on this is an 1865C4 UML10C. And this battery will give, I mean, in my own testing, easily five, you know, five amps. Okay, and you're saying, but five amps? I have a 30 amp draw. Well, I have 15 batteries in line. Okay, so on 10 of them, alone is 50 amps. So I got 75 amps sitting here. You know, the board will never draw really consistently more than 20, 20 or 30. So there, you know, if you go with less of a cost on the battery itself, you can make up for it by running more batteries. So where a normal cell would have cost me five or six dollars, the BAKs ended up costing me on there was a guy on eBay, I got a box of a hundred and fit or a box of two hundred for two hundred and fifty bucks. So you know, we're looking at a dollar something a battery. And I haven't given anything up. We're using a cheaper battery. Now, as far as any of them ultra fire or whatever the hell, or you know, these batteries are rated at 2,200 milliamps each is the way I bought them. I tested them and they all, there wasn't one that tested under 23, okay? And, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> if it comes down to building them out of used laptop batteries and that, you know, I've gotten beat and when you're using this many, if you're using a battery from an ISO 9000 or whoever company, you can really just measure the voltage and put them in where you're going to have to sit there and do a lot more time in the testing to lining banks up to this to this level of, of you know, this many batteries at once. Let me jump this thing off here real quick. You can see this comes right off but with one hand. And yeah, why do I use one color wire? Because it ran out. There you go. Let me just get this off here. Ow. If I can put this in the sun, you might be able to see something a little better. But you can see, these are all welded. There was no real soldering done. These were, this is welded bank. Made up like a Tesla bank. It uses spacers, they're not glued together, the batteries, which gives them space, being a car guy that I am. You know, when you're opening those batteries up, you're gonna get a radiator effect as the air goes through. So there's three sides on this on this battery pack. These are all in Lexan, by the way. Lexan sides, Lexan bottom. And the front and back will be opened as soon as it gets finished. And uh, you're looking at all this junk here, well, this is all just different crap that I'm trying out, which is the, uh, which you can see this, is this actual uh, battery, battery monitoring system. Now I use both. This, this is a balanced battery pack and it's a 10S. I just don't have it in right now. And you know, because I'm still, I'm still testing this, this thing, but this is specced out at 33 amp hours with no problem. I mean, it's, it does 60 amp peaks. I have really no voltage drops on the board at all. I mean, with my standard, I run standard lipos and I can get about, you know, 15 amp hours. So, but we're gonna get voltage drop, you know, depending if you're gonna use less batteries 
you know, in your, in your line, you're going to have to use a better battery. Using more batteries allows you to probably use a cheaper cell, but you're not going to get the voltage drop because you're making it up for it in, in amounts of batteries, you know, so when you're making that decision, you know, we got the Panasonic and the Sanyo and the whole shooting match, but there's a lot of good companies out there to look into because <clears throat> unless you're running a single battery and you need to suck 35 amps out of it, you know, you can easily make up for that. This other thing you see sitting here, this is part of this cheap battery management system, Chinese, whatever you want to call it, that seems to work pretty good and I, I've measured it up against my board tipping over. I measured it up against a bunch of stuff, so. But uh, I'm going to throw some more videos in here on this. But like I said, 50 miles, flat out at 25, 26 miles an hour with no problem. And 1.2 kilowatts on your skateboard. And the reliability of the e-glide stuff, which is is bar none. You know, if I thought I could build it better myself, I would. But I, I, I don't believe, you know, that anything is going to make up for the reliable motors, solid America-made drives and stuff. You're going to say, oh, that's a Chinese motor. Yeah, we know they're Chinese. But you know what? It, it's when, I, when, I, when you pick up the phone to call these people, and I don't want to show this as an e-glide board, only because their newer stuff really, you know, is is a lot better. The dropped aluminum decks are probably a lot more rider friendly than this deck is, but I'm old school guy and I ripped this thing up. So this thing is 49 inches long. It's 49 by 10, this deck. Like I said, it's an only Dewey Weber longboard skateboard deck. Uh... I don't think in the industry, I don't think there is any better controller, period. I don't think I could, I could, for any amount of money, there's anything I could do that would work better than this. The, uh, I, this is not, you know, this is just a heat sink, but under this is called an iDrive and they're floor scrubber electronics. And, you know, they're some of the toughest. I've never had a problem with it. Never even had an engine problem. Like I say, there's probably three to 4,000 miles on this motor, you know, couple thousand miles on this controller this is a new this is one of their newer controllers I just bought this because I got another board that I'm building so I decided to put the new one in mine but like I said 4,000 miles never had a problem you know a testament to what they build very simple you know I run kind of a different bearing whatever these are 600 ones whatever bearings and uh, that's about it 1.2 kilowatts in your skateboard and you guys really are into riding like I am and you want to get out there you, you know I think this battery will outride you it's been killing me at 30 miles 40 miles I have yeah I've yet to kill it or even come close so I keep you tuned and the next video is going to be on building one of these things and what type of battery packs because these are also you know we'll do a little review on the shit battery packs that I've bought to go right with it. Hopefully I can shed some light on all this crap here. And uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. I'm gonna have a ton of shit out there. A lot of stuff, I'm turbocharging the Mustang and uh, firing up some of the older big argon lasers that I have. Again, subscribe. And thanks for watching.